Yukon is really Canada's newest mining district. You know, it's really been revitalized with Victoria Gold building a new mine. We've seen Hecla take over Alexco. We're starting to see investment by majors. People are looking to it because it's a jurisdiction where you can permit a mine that is supportive of mining and where we're seeing a whole new mining district that's just been discovered. The Yukon is a place with a lot of potential. It's a huge area of land and it's seen relatively little exploration. People think of the Klondike Gold Rush and you know think that maybe it's been scoured over, but it really hasn't. This area was made infamous 125 years ago. It was the epicenter of the major Klondike Gold Rush. Incredibly prolific area. 20 million ounces of gold have been mined out of the extreme beds and from plaster mining since that time. But remarkably, it's seen almost no modern day exploration until about 15 years ago. What you've seen in the last couple years with some major discoveries with Banyan, how quickly we've taken our resource to 4 million ounces. We made the power line discovery, which is now a 3 million ounce resource in 2019. Our main project is in the Eastern Yukon, uh, where we've made uh, two major discoveries in our first two years. And it's really, it's a place where you can go out and make new discoveries. We found these targets by just walking up creeks, uh, following up on big data sets that we've generated over the last few years. Companies are doing more than just mining, and a mining company may become a logistics company or even a power producer, which is all great opportunities when you think about regions like uh, Yukon, Norfolk Territories, or, or the significance of major mining companies now investing in the territory. In the last number of years, we've seen Nico Eagle and Kinross invest in, in the district as our significant shareholders. Newmont, the largest gold company in the world, is now permitting their coffee deposit. We see Rio Tinto and now Hecla has also moved in. These majors, they do their homework, they see the opportunity in this district, and I believe that's why they're making these significant investments in the Yukon. Working with First Nations of the Yukon is really critical for any projects, making sure that you have community support. We really benefit in the Yukon from having settled land claim agreements. So we have First Nation governments, uh, which you know have set out their own processes and their ways to communicate with them, which is really helpful for industry. The Yukon is a place where things can happen. Uh, you see mines coming online there, you see mines that are moving through development, and you see exploration success stories, new discoveries being made, and, and a lot of rocks that have yet to be looked at. The Yukon has incredible geological potential. It's in a tier one mining jurisdiction being Canada. It's seen so little work, it's so underexplored, and the little bit of work that's been done has made multiple prolific discoveries. And I think we're literally just scratching the surface for what this territory has to offer.